Welcome back, y'all. It feels like it's been a minute since the Cleveland Cavaliers have raised a Larry O'Brien. Feels like a minute since LeBron delivered a championship to his beloved hometown. Well, today, Cleveland, this video is for you. First things first, make sure y'all leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's fix the damn Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, so I say fix the Cavs, but the, the Cavs don't really need it. We're getting to that point because I'm on my like 19th or 20th rebuild. I'm trying to rebuild every single team this year, as y'all know. This is the point where teams are going to start to be good. You know what I mean? So like teams could actually be competing for championships, especially in 2K. The Cleveland Cavaliers are simulation menaces like these boys very well. If I don't even touch the roster, they could easily just go with a championship right now. So I really feel like my job going forward is to simply just maybe make little tweaks and adjustments to the bench and the starting five and just re-sign people as needed and just kind of wait it out till we win a championship because, you know, uh, Cleveland is good. It, like, they're a good team. So that's our job today is to simply just maintain the roster. It's a lot of young talent. I mean, I didn't even look at it with y'all. I'm sorry. DG the PG, always very good. Donovan Mitchell is your superstar. Awesome. Isaac Okoro is due for some big games throughout the season. Evan Mobley is a young up-and-comer. I know throughout his career in 2K, usually wins a few DPOYs, things like that. Jared Allen is a great young big to have. Karis LeVert, I'm a huge fan of, like, especially in 2K. The man just hoops no matter where he is. Max Truce, they give that man so much money for so little production. So <laughs> Ricky Rubio, Ty Jerome. I mean, Tristan Thompson is still here, which is wild to me. I, It's like, it's crazy. Our first game of the season is against the Nets. Let's just see if we, okay, I didn't mean to go regular season, but we do get a win. It's only a four-point win. Now, uh, DG the PG had a nice game. Jared Allen did. Uh, the young Nets squad had a nice game, but let's start simming. I'll go to the trade deadline, see where this Cavs squad is at, and see if I need to make any changes to the roster. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the trade deadline, we're 31 and 18. We're the fourth best team in ball. So, uh, th like I said, I don't know if I need to make any major adjustments to the team. Everybody's hooping. Donovan Mitchell's having a great year. Darius Garland's having a great year as well. Jared Allen's doing his thing, averaging a double double. I mean, if I can make a little bit of a tweak to small forward, like Isaac Okoro is good, but maybe if I could snag a little bit better of a small forward, that might be the little tweak I'm going to make. First things first, Donovan Mitchell can get whatever the hell he wants, okay? That man is the player of the future for this squad. Everyone else is under contract for a while, so I love to see that. Let's go take a look who's on the chopping block and see if we can and snag any W players to help us out. You know, Tim Hardaway Jr. is not a bad player, uh, especially in 2K. He can hoop, uh, and he would definitely be a step up from Isaac Okoro, I think. I don't know if the money's going to match here, but the man can hoop, though. He's gonna definitely going to help us out in big ways. We just got to make up a little money. Simple as that, and we will give them... Ooh, who do I who do I give? Like I said, I don't want to mess with this too much. Oh my god, George Niang's contract is awful, and he ain't even playing for us. I just realized that, y'all. Okay, let's see if this happens, and okay, we have a counter offer. Ricky Rubio, I mean, I uh, I think I pulled the trigger here. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got ourselves a new starting uh, small forward. Once I move Tim Hardaway Jr. to the small forward, that's really the only difference I'm going to make to the team. And we have upgraded the starting five. Tim Hardaway Jr., welcome to the squad. I think the bench is absolutely fine. I think the team is fine itself. I think we got a championship squad here. And this might be my shortest rebuild ever, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to find out. Luka wins MVP, Wemby, Rookie of the Year, Westbrook, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis, DPOY, Christian Braun, Most Improved, Donovan Mitchell, our guy, Clutch of the Year. Hey, shout out to him. Coach the year i hate seeing nick nurse with coach of the year because that's just disgusting uh, evan mobley gets all defensive first team like i said that man is a hell of a defensive player and he wins quite a few awards throughout his career we slipped to the three c but that's okay we got ourselves the six seeded new york knicks up first and the Cavs and knicks is always quite a rivalry it always goes back and forth man i don't know where jalen brunson is where the hell is jalen brunson now i have to find out where the hell jalen brunson went oh he's still on the roster they just got him benched what is up with that that is really odd same with mitchell robinson bro who what is fucking what what is Thibodeau doing over there, bro? Anyway, okay, anyways, game one is, uh, scan let's just get this round over with. We should be able to sweep these guys. Game three, and okay, game four. Okay, thank you, God. Game five, get it done and over with. Beautiful. Now we got a little bit more real of a matchup. The Atlanta Hawks, uh, Trey Young, there's not the same, same old guys. Definitely a beatable team. We should be seeing ourselves in the conference finals. Game one is the Hawks. Game two is the, the Hawks. Go down 3 0 2 I I hate this game. I hate it. I hate this game, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's we gotta win four straight against the Hawks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not concerned though. Even if we get swept by this team here, which we should not be, we should be like beating the Hawks, no question. And we don't. We lose by four. Every game was close. Literally all four games were close, I'm pretty sure. Well, nonetheless, I'm not concerned. We have these boys under contract for a while. It's the Sixers and Clippers. Sixers Harden does not get his revenge this time. Sixers take care of business, but I'm not concerned in any way because we have a W squad, obviously, and the play our young players are only going to get better. It's it's wraps. We're going to win a championship within the next one to two years, guaranteed. Definitely getting a new coach because how does uh, how do you lose in the second round? 
around with that roster. But you know what, Taylor Jenkins, welcome to the squad. I will happily have a new coach. I'm a Taylor Jenkins fan myself. Let's just make sure nobody uh, crucial to the success of the team. Tristan Thompson, I might bring him back just for vibes, to be honest. Like just for the Cavs culture, I might just have to get Tristan Thompson back on the roster. I think that makes the most sense, right? Like I'll give him a two year deal. Tristan Thompson can come right back, just ride the bench. He's a, he's a Cleveland legend, low key. He's a Kardashian curse, but he's also a Cleveland legend. Now, can I afford anyone that would actually make this team better? I don't think so. Alec Burks is low key kind of a W bench piece, so I'll bring him in. He should sign with us. Beautiful. But that's the only change I'm going to make. Let's go run it right into season two. Ladies and gentlemen, Darius Garland's a 91, Donovan Mitchell's a 94, Tim Hardaway Jr. is still here. He's going to have his first full season with Cleveland, which I'm excited about. Evan, we have three 90s. We have the three 90s, dude. If we don't win a chip, I'm actually going to be livid. And the bench looks solid. I can't lie. Bench looks nice. Game one of the season against the Nets, and we got ourselves a W. Donovan Mitchell. I'd love to see Donovan Mitchell snag an MVP. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll find out. The quick update of the trade deadline. 34-19. and We're fighting with the Sixers for the top spot in the East. Um, let's just take a look and see if anyone else needs a contract extension. Jared Allen wants to test free agency. So does Tim Hardaway Jr. Okay, Jaden Hardy, you can get a contract. Absolutely. Uh, Sam Merrill, you can take one and let's sim the rest of the way i'm feeling good about the roster we got here man i really think this is a championship squad i know i said that last year okay but the boys have progressed it, it's it's a wraps it's a championship roster it's gonna happen Jokic gets himself another one isaiah collier's your rookie of the year Alvin thompson six man Giannis dpoy patrick williams most improved clutch players harry's back so yada 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 apparently the trailblazers had a good year so shout out to them for that evan mobley gets another all defensive team and we are the one seed ladies and gentlemen we got the eight seeded magic the magic scare me and simulation i don't know why bro they they can hoop like the magic especially in real life or see what i mean they've already won a game by one game two okay thank god and oh my god we blew them out 162 in regulation is insanity nonetheless game three i don't think that the magic have any wind in their sails so i thought they didn't have anything left in the tent they're they're up three to two if we lose in the first round right now uh, uh no 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 that's not happening all right on the road get the win go home finish the job we should not even be in this position i get it listen it's the playoffs everybody can hoop in the playoffs but we we, we got it right we, we got it yeah we about to get this win thank god shout out to darius garland for keeping us alive i shouldn't even have to say that against the magic but we're at home we should be able to finish the job right here fuck the magic bro i don't know what it is about simulation boys just go crazy but it's looking like we're gonna sneak out of here oh my god this is actually close a minute to go it's only 126 119 okay yeah let's look at, we're about to get away we're about to, oh my god it's actually close again okay thank god 128 to 124 wow the magic Magic gave it all they had. I I give them credit. Really, that team's got a bright future. And we got a rematch against the Hawks. These boys swept us last year, but it's time. Let's let's go. We're, we're well built. We shouldn't even get swept. Okay, game one is ours. Game two is theirs. Game three is us. Game four is us. Game five, conference finals. Nope. Game six, conference finals. Let's go. The matchup everybody wanted to see. The, the Cavs and the Sixers. The two best in the East. Matchups go crazy, man. Okay, I'm here for it. Game one is a Cleveland win. We'll go game by game here. Shout out to Donovan Mitchell. What a nice game. Game two is going to be the Cavs. Game three is going to be us. Who blew hooped for us was Jaden Hardy. Hey, off the Bench, Jay and Hardy, shout out to him, man. Game, okay, they take game four, game five. Why can we never go up in the series? Why do I have to win? Why does my back have to be against the wall? We gotta win two straight to go to the finals. I'm not concerned. This is a team that can very well do that, especially if we go back home for game seven. And oh my God, the Sixers are making this interesting, ladies and gentlemen. 128, 132, I'm just gonna slow it down, make sure we get out of here with a win, and we win by two. Thank you, God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at home for game seven. The Cavs fans, bro, are used to that finals atmosphere, and they want it back. They've been dying to get back to the finals these boys are in a gritty game seven right now oh my god it is close if it's really close at the end i have to jump in and watch 100 123 121 Cavs are down by two. Oh my god all right sixers got the ball we need a big time stop in a bucket less than a minute to go game seven winner goes to the finals this is insane i told you all this Cavs team's ready to compete though tyree smack she just put them up five yep oh my god he's not him he bricked it oh what a pass donovan mitchell Jaden hardy dry oh my god i thought he was gonna fade donovan donovan please Donovan. Thank you, Donovan. Tyrese Maxey versus Darius Garland. Okay, now we got Evan Mobley against Tyrese Maxey. It's not a matchup I want to see at all. Okay, good defense, Mobley. Beautiful, and Maxey can't get it to go, and we can take the lead right now, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Spider with the ball. He's up against Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey is right with the clamps on. If Donovan hits a three right now, bro, oh my god. Ten seconds. Clock is ticking. Darius Garland, I thought he was going to pop it low-key. Three seconds. Oh my god, he's open. Good screen. Put it up, Darius Garland. Oh, Jared Allen with the rebound, though. Jared Allen with the rebound! 
Oh my God! And he got fouled. Isaiah Jackson just fouled out the game. Jared Allen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! And he guts him up three. Jared Allen just sent us to the finals potentially. Just one stop, no threes. They're gonna shoot a three to try and send it to OT, man. That's it. Jared Allen. I knew. I saw the second he got the ball. Okay, that's that's a tie game, isn't it? That's a tie. Yep. Yep. 0.2 seconds. The Cavs have 0.2 seconds to shoot. I still can't get over Jared Allen. I don't think they get a shot off in time right here, so I think we go into overtime because it's 2K, and 2K is not realistic, as we know. Uh, they're not getting a shot off. It's not going to happen. Yeah, that's... Even if that goes in, that actually almost went in. That's crazy. Don't worry. We're not watching OT, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to simcast it for y'all. Don't you worry about that. Let's make sure we get out of here with a win and go to the finals after this performance. What a freaking game. I mean, you got to... What a game, and we about to get a win. Let's go. We get it in overtime. Evan Mobley with 25 and 14. Shout out to him. The biggest thing was Jared Allen. Jared Allen really got the job done. We are in the NBA Finals. And the Trailblazers, who have been the best team in the West all year long, just barely scraped by against the Mavericks, the seven-seeded Mavericks. What a series that has been. What do the Trailblazers have, bro? Mitchell Robinson is here. Kelly Oubre is over here. And now, I mean, just they've relied on progression and signed a few new pieces. And we got ourselves a good Finals. Cavs and Trailblazers. Game one is the Trailblazers. Game two is us. Let's go. It is going to be Donovan Mitchell with 34. Game three is going to be the Cavs, and it is going to be Donovan Mitchell with 34 again. Game four, we get it. Cavs, Evan Mobley, 18 and 12. Game five, do we finish the job? And we do. Darius Garland is your finals MVP. Cleveland, this is for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, here's another video for y'all right here. Also, make sure you're leaving your video ideas down below. They're very, very much appreciated. But other than that, guys, it's been Teebs. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all soon.